Fun Club. Okay. According to a Muslim, to, to a Muslim <clears throat> that I've been recently talking with, uh, Christians are able to lie and deceive, just like Muslims are able to do with the uh, Quran 320, 61 and 7, and Muhammad saying that the Hadith war is deceit. Uh, that Christians are able to lie due to St. Paul in Romans 3, 7, and Philippians 1, 8. Then Romans 3, 7, Paul says he can lie, and Philippians 1, 8, I mean, 118, it's not, it's not, it's not Philippians 1, 8, it's 118. <coughs> Paul talks about acting like uh, Jews, you know, under the law, and being a Gentile, to many people to Christ, and thus save them from hell. Now, to get onto the level of a Jew, or under the law, or a Gentile, to save that person from hell, is worse than, say, a Muslim only acting like he's your friend, through Takiyah, so he can get your guard down, shoot you in the back, like what happens in Afghanistan a lot uh, to our Marines. Uh, so the Muslim can sexually can win sexually attractive beings in paradise, while the one he tricked to uh, shoot in the back is burning in hell and all his hellfire forever with the good blessings of Surah, of Surah 328, 6106, uh, to make the Muslim who did the shooting not feel guilty for such an act. I don't know about you, but this Muslim I talked with um, has not convinced me that the scriptures, the scriptures he gave to show that a Christian can lie, like a jihadi Muslim with mainly Quran 328 in mind, uh, for one thing, I noticed that this Muslim completely ignored the very next scripture right after Romans 3.7, and that is Romans 3.8. And the scripture right before Romans 3 7, which is Romans 3 6. Uh, to me, uh, those Romans Romans 3 6 and 3 7, uh, 3 8, I proof that, script, that the scriptures he tried to show are worse than a Muslim lying to get one's guard down to kill through Takiyah uh, has been greatly taken out of context. If you don't, if, if you don't believe me, well, first I, I'll read Romans 3, 7, then I'll read the two scriptures around it to put it back into context and prove that, um, well, yeah, to prove that, uh, first, well, I'll tell you what, I'll read Romans 3, 7, then I'll read two other scriptures around it to put it back into context and prove that not only is Romans 3, 7 a warning to not to be a Muslim, to be like a Muslim putting the Quran 328 into practice, uh, well, three, Quran 328 and 61 to 6, and Muhammad's saying war is a seat into uh, practice or play uh, through Muslim Takiyah, but that it's actually the total opposites, making you realize that Philippians 1, 18 is not about deceit. But like what I suspected, getting onto one's level, onto the level of others, uh, seeking common ground, in an effort to try to win their souls from hell. Here is Romans 3, 7, the way this Takiyah Muslim I was talking with wishes it to be. Okay, I'll read it Okay, this is through the Cambridge uh, King James uh, Bible version of the Muslim, uh, that the Muslim quoted from, that goes, quote, for if the truth of God hath more abounded through my lie unto his glory, why am I also judged as a sinner? The Muslim I was talking uh, with totally ignored the scripture, ignored the scriptures around it, and ignored that the scripture is a rhetorical question that is an open-ended question as well. For now, listen to now listen, listen, listen uh, to the scriptures around it. That put it in context and let you know that Paul was telling the opposite of what a Muslim is allowed to do with obeying Quran 328 and 16106, which opens the door to Takiyah. So they can shoot uh, people in the back when they get their guard down from their, their, their friend. Okay, English Standard Version. I have Romans 3, 6, 3, 8. By no means! But then how could God judge the world? But if through my lie, God's 
tape abounds to his glory, why am I still being condemned as a sinner? It's a rhetorical question. And why not do evil that good may come? As some people slanderously charge us of saying, like the Muslims. And their condemnation is just. In other words, it's okay for them to, con to, con to condemn you if you're doing that. And may it never be. Get that. May it never be. This is the New American Standard Bible. May it never be. For otherwise, how will judge? How will God judge the world? But if through uh, my lie the truth of God abounded to his glory, why am I also still being judged as a sinner? Because you're lying. That's why. And why not say as we are slanderously reported as and as some claim that we say, like the Muslims claim, uh, quote, let us do evil that good may come. Their condemnation is just. In other words, I think they're, yeah, they're just to condemn you if you think you can uh, lie. Holman, Christian Standard Bible, says this, absolutely not, absolutely not. In other words, don't lie. I feel, don't, yeah, don't lie to spread the gospel. Otherwise, how will God judge the world? Uh, but if by my lie God is true, God's truth is amplified to His glory. Why am I still? Why am I also still judged as a sinner? Because you're lying. That's why. And why not say as, just as some people sign us to claim, we say, let us do evil that good may come. Their condemnation is deserved. So you know, hey, so I condemn you if you are lying. Okay, King James says. Uh, God forbid, for uh, then how shall God judge the world? Someone might, someone might argue, quote, if my falsehood enhances God's truthfulness and so increases his glory, why am I still condemned as a sinner? And not rather as we slanderously reported, as some affirm that we say, let us do evil that good may come, whose damnation is just. Yeah, it, it, your damnation is just if, you, if your lies are cut. That's all I take that as, you know. Yeah. Uh, Aramaic. Okay. Now, 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 again, again, again. What if it, what it comes what it comes down to is Romans three seven is again an open ended question. It's rhetorical, and Paul seems to be saying that those who condemn you for lying to spread the gospel are just to do so because again Romans three seven is an open and it's an open and it's an open question open ended question. It's rhetorical, rhetorical. It seems to be the opposite of what a Muslim is allowed to do with Quran Surah three twenty eight. Where they're they are cut off from a lot if they truly take you as a friend, unless they can just do it through guarding guarding against you, you know, to get you on get your guard down, like what happens so much in Afghanistan. They they win the trust the, the they win the trust of the Marines so they can shoot them in the back. Okay, to me, the new international version uh, is the clearest version and proof. That Paul is not for acting like a Takiya Muslim, thinking of on Quran 328 and 1606, and Muhammad saying more is a seed. For here is how I feel it's really supposed to sound, and not taken out of context at all. Quote, okay, three is Quran, this, this is Romans 3, 3, 3, 3, 8. What advantage then is there in being a Jew, or what value is there in circumcision? Much in, in every way, first of all. The Jews had been entrusted with the very words of God. What if uh, some were unfaithful? Will their unfaithfulness nullify God's unfaithfulness? Or, or, or nullify God, God's faithfulness? Not at all. Let God be true and every man being a liar. And every man being a liar. As it is written, so, what, so, so that you may be proved right when you speak and prevail when you judge. Yeah, just, yeah. May you be right when you speak. No takia, you know? May you be right when yeah, so that you may be proved right when you speak and prevail when you judge. You, you can't you know this is telling this is this is telling me that you're not supposed to be like a Muslim of three twenty eight, you're three twenty eight. Okay, but if our righteous if our unrighteousness brings out God's righteousness more clearly, what shall we say? That God is unjust in bringing his wrath on us? I'm using a human argument. Certainly not. If that were so, how could God judge the world? Someone might argue, quote, if my falsehood enhances God's truthfulness and so increases his glory, why am I still condemned as a sinner? Because you're lying, that's why. 
Why not say, as some sons would claim that we say, let us do evil that good may result in a received lie. Their condemnation is just. In other words, yeah, if you're going to be a lion to spread God's, uh, you know, your condemnation, it, 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 it's just to condemn you. And to me, this nullifies all other scriptures brought against Paul to try to make it look like Christians can do Kakia like Muslims. And I'll leave it at that. But oh, shit, where is that place? Maybe this is it. Ah, here it is. Yeah. Okay. Stop. I'm gonna stop recording here. Bye.